Action! In PCSX2, go to settings and then go to controllers. Create a new profile for your game. I'm going to name it Time Crisis 2 Gun Con. Press OK. Here you can choose No. Then go to the USB port 1 and change it to CON CON 2. In the relative aiming, you don't have to assign any binds. This is only if you're using a controller or a digital light gun. In the D pad, I'm going to use the keys W, A, S, D. You can use whatever you want, or you can even use your controller. I don't think this game uses the D pad, but we'll configure it anyways. In this game, the A, B, and C buttons are used to reload. You can assign your right mouse button to the B button. A and C can be some random keyboard keys. Keyboard key 1 for A and keyboard 3 for C. Then for the trigger, it's your left mouse button. I'm going to use the key from the keyboard key for the shoot off screen and the middle mouse for the calibration shot. If your mouse has more than three buttons, you can also use them. For the start, I'm going to use the F key and for select the shift key. Make sure your keyboard keys, if you're using them, are not overlapping your PCSX2 hotkeys. Then go to settings. We're going to use a custom cursor. You can use pretty much any cursor that you want. You can even make your own. For this tutorial, we're going to use some cursors that I found on the winter wraps. Download the cursor. And then in the cursor path, choose the cursor image dot png in the cursor scale you can increase the scale of the cursor or decrease i'm going to decrease it to 50 percent because 100 percent is too much for me and here you can also change the colors but we already using cross hair with colors so i'm not going to do that you can now close the settings Go to your game and right click on top of it and go to properties and and in here in the input profile change to the profile we've just created which is time crisis 2 gone con now start the game and have fun action